Hello everybody, this is Dreamgamer really back for another Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase and I have four more pretty skins to showcase here. Uh, I'll go through them real quick because it's not going to be an exciting one I'm afraid because we got, we got all long neck boys. So first we have a Shunosaurus which I need to update the tab. Then we have, well this isn't Kamarasaurus since I've already showcased that but you'll see what that is later. And again, this is a Nigerosaurus. This is going to be something else. And all the way over here, we have a Jobaria. So yes, we got four lovely pretties. So which one should we start with first? Um, okay, we'll start with this one. This is Kamarasaurus. Well, it's not Kamarasaurus, but you'll see what it is now. Oh, oh. But never mind, it is Kamarasaurus. I need I need to change I forgot to change the texture file. Give me a sec. Alright, let's try again, shall we? And this time it's not Kamarasaurus, I promise. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have an Apistocela cordia. The dinosaur that, because of this channel, I have actually learned to pronounce properly. Because I've had to say it so many times. Because people it seem to get entertained by my pronunciation of it. But yeah, not much to explain here. Pretty simple design. You know, the underbelly. The underbelly is always the toughest bit for me to do. You know, getting the colour right. The, ma the main aspect color of the bo oh, oops the main color of the body is like red and also again not too difficult to make um i did actually edit the model i'm going to catch them over real quick and zoom in on it well specifically the head change the head to make it look more epistocele cordia like so it has like the little bump up by uh, the x the long snout and a slightly different appearance in comparison to the camaras all right, that's one long neck boy down. Um, we'll do this one next because this is not Nigerosaurus and this will be made into a new species, as will the Apistocele cordia. But I'm having quite a bit of difficulty with the Apis. Yes, lock up your lizards, kiddies, because we have the Saltosaurus. And I'm quite pleased with how this one turned out. Um, the the bone, the bumpy bits by you are, were a bit tedious to do because there were so many of them, but I did a good job on them. And yes, I know I know people be quick to say, well, hang on a minute, there's a Saltosaurus mod on the Nexus page, and there is a Saltosaurus mod on the Nexus page, but that Saltosaurus looks well obese and it's like as fat as it comes and I did actually chunk chunk out this one a bit so it's a bit thicker than the normal Nigerosaurus model and it's a bit thicker than the Shunosaurus which you'll see in a minute and yeah oh, again the only real challenging part was again the spikes yeah the only challenging bit was the spikes but other than that you know not too hard to make I also did some editing on the head to make it look more Saltosaurus like. The only gripe I have with it is I wish it didn't... I wish his head wasn't down like this. I wish it could lift his head up like that. And that's where I started to think maybe using the Kamarasaurus model would have been better. Also, I have heard in regards to modding that there is a work in progress that we might be able... Keyword might... Be able to shrink and rescale the models in this game so for example if I wanted to shrink this Kamarasaurus model I could I mean you can't right now but it looks like one day we might be able to and fingers crossed for that and if that does become the case then 
making certain mods, like, I don't know, off the top of my head, Zuni Ceratops, for example, will be made much more simple. I could use the, um, I could in enlarge the Saltosaurus model, make it a little bit bigger, because it's, Saltosaurus, you know, was, in terms of size, I feel like Salt, I think Saltosaurus was just a little bit smaller than the record. So yeah, that is Saltosaurus, the salty boy itself. All right, now on to our next dino, and yes, I have modified some of the icons on the on the dinosaurs, so they have the Dinosaur King skins. Now, on the Shunosaurus. This one, this one needs some clarification, but you'll see why in a minute. Okay, and well, I'm sure you can see straight away that the tail and the back legs are very, very funny. And that's because I'm sure, as you guessed by the um, icon on the Shunosaurus, I used Nasutoceratops as a prefab because, for whatever reason, I just could not get this to work using the Nigosaurus as a prefab. I tried other sauropods and it didn't work. So I thought, you know what, let's try Nasutoceratops because that seems to work on. It seems to work on pretty much every four-legged creature, and it worked. It does have some weird results, but it works, and that's all that matters to me at the minute. Um, I I wouldn't even know what where to go in terms of fixing this, that, and I don't see why the Nigosaurus prefab doesn't work. But you know, that's maybe something for the experts to explain to me. Anyway, as for the dinosaur itself, you know, Shunosaurus. What's interesting about this is um, when I actually, before it was made into a new species, I actually had texture problems with the Shunosaurus because for whatever reason, all this brown stuff becomes white and th this game doesn't do this shade of brown very well as I'm sure you saw with previous mods I've had, like the Mapusaurus is the best example I can think of, where this brown is more white. But for whatever reason, making it into a new species has fixed it. And yes, I like the Shunosaurus. It looks awesome. And yes, the Nigosaurus model is the perfect fit because Shunosaurus wasn't the biggest of sauropods. Okay, now on to our final dinosaur of this showcase. Yes, the mighty Joe Boria. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Joe Boria. And this one was an awkward skin to make because there wasn't many good quality pictures of it I could find online, so I have to take a few screenshots from from the gate from the um, arcade game itself in order to get a good, accurate representation of what it looked like. Uh, the problem with the using like the, the actual anime as a reference is because is that Joe Boria spent well, the whole episode under pretty much underwater, so you could only really see the top bit. And and when it had its spectral armor on, you could hardly see anything. And well, what's a Joe Boria without Thalmosaurus? Ocean panic time! Release them all. But yeah, this is Joe Boria. And <laughs> ah, that's better. As you can probably see, I did do some editing on the head as well to make it more Joboria like than Apatosaurus-like, because this is the Apatosaurus model. And I sort of shrunk the tail down a little bit as well, made it slightly smaller. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this guy turned out. Especially the um, the dirtyish white bit, because as I said earlier with the Shunosaurus, that colour scheme seems to... You seem to have difficulties getting that colour right in, in this game, and it always turns out weird. 
Yes, there's our Ophthalmosaurus for Ocean Panic. But yeah, this is Joe Borrier hanging out in my underwater part of the arena. <laughs> and yes, I, all most of these hatcheries are full because I'm planning a battle royale. But I'm not sure on whether to do it after the next showcase I have planned or do it after this one. So what would you like, what would you prefer? Would you prefer for me to do it after this showcase or the one after that? And I'm just going to say right now, the one, the showcase after this one I've planned will be Secret Dinosaurs. And so far we've, actually I'll show you what I have planned. We will be doing a Patasaurus again, because I'm going to make a proper one. Well, I'm in the middle of doing it. A, well I've already done Deinonychus. As you can see, oh, a, pa a Pachycephalosaurus, wherever it is, where is it, where is it, there, a Pachycephalosaurus. I wanted to do like a Dinosaur King style one, but I, I do, but with all this possibility of uh, scaling up models and such, I think I'm just going to use the uh, in-game model of the Pachycephalo instead of making one out of Metric Amphosaurus or something. Papasaurus, because I haven't actually done Papasaurus yet. I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what rig or model I'm going to use for Papasaurus, but... You'll just have to see when I make it. And the big one, which a lot of people are really excited for, the Therisniosaurus. And I, I'm going to just sh sh showcase, well, I'm not going to showcase this now, but this fairy is amazing. And it's, it was, and it was, I actually got permission from its mod maker, Nano, to make the Dinosaur King one, which is awesome. Mwah! Because I God, and I'm making. I am not making this thing myself. I mean, would, you, you would not want to see what my attempt at making a fairy was in this game. I mean, just think of every nightmare you have had in your whole life. Mix it up all into one, and that's what my fairy looked like. But we got a proper fairy, and one that can fight. So that'd be exciting. Okay, where's your where's your job, Oh, that doesn't look awesome. Hang on. Yeah, that looks awesome. Ah, he's having a swim. And there's all the up Phalmosaurus. Oh, they're having food. Well, um, it wouldn't be much of a showcase, is it, if we don't have something happen. So, let's check in an Indominus Rex. And we'll see which sauropod survives the longest. I suspect they'll be Joe Borea because it's on the other side of the arena. But, you know, we'll just have to see. Okay, one more thing I want to uh, go through, because it's received a model update, because when I lost all my files, again, <laughs> I never actually, I lost the file that made Stegogira its own species, so I had to make it its own species again, and I, and I did give it a model update, which I think makes it look a lot better, so I will show that right now. See, so yeah, I'll just quickly go through the Stegogira hybrid. Yeah, as you can see, I, I added less plates, and I spaced them out a bit better. Uh, the texture it looks a bit weird. I don't know why it looks like that, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain too much. Yes, I gave it its dagger teeth back. And yes, not much to go through here. Stego Jira, pretty much the same as the last one. The only major difference is the plates. Spaced them out a bit better and added less of them. Oh, oh, he's having a feed. And you got the Ophthalmosaurus, which unfortunately you can't really see, but that is just how I want this underwater arena to be like. Ooh, I think the Indominus Rex is lining up the Epistocelacordia. He's like, how dare you have a long name? For that, I shall rip your head off. Yes, it's sauropods today, buddy. Sauropods today. Oh, hang on. I think Stegogira's lining him up. Yeah, he's lining him up. Oh, the, the Shunosaurus is biting the big one. Yum. Oh, pull on the leg. Yum. Oh, I need to take a snap at him. Shunosaurus biting the big one. Oh, bless it. He just wanted to live. That's all he wanted to do. Oh, all the colours gone from it. Wait, hang on, there's an Ophthalmosaurus on land. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be on land. Oh, is the Indominus Rex lining up the Epistocelacordia? I think he is. Yeah, let's get... He's got to be lining them up. 
Yeah, look at the Epista Sila Claudius. Like, what's happening? I can't see behind me. He's like, oh no, it's you. No, my throat. I'm dead. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, it's like a, it's like a U bend in a toilet. Look. Oh, all the colour is gone from the Epista Sila Claudia. Joe Boria, if I was you, I'd probably just run. Oh, oh, the Indominus Rex is going in the water. I think he's going to have a fight with the Ophthalmosaurus. Ooh, Ophthalmosaurus, though, does have terrain advantage. No, don't get out of the water. Um, okay. Wait, what's Joe Boria doing? Oh, he's having a drink. Ooh, we got a fight between Ophthalmosaurus. Give him an ocean panic. Oh, you hit him, bless him. Hit him again. Look at Joe Boria just taking a drink over there while his while its Ophthalmosaurus pal takes on the Indominus Rex. He's like, I'll protect you. Asset has been collected. Yeah, you, you think Indominus Rex should win. I mean, look at it. Can literally drag it onto land and rip its head off. And that's exactly what it's gonna do. Oh no, the Ophthalmosaurus died. Luck. You're supposed to kill the sauropods, you bugger. Oh. Oh, the Saltosaurus died. All that plated armor did nothing against the Stegojura. That means Joe Borrier is the winner because it's the last one standing. Kind of unfair though, because he spawned in, he was in the water and the, those two were like all, all the way over there. But you know, Joe Borrier is cool, okay? Uh, yeah, that's going to end this session, so I hope you enjoyed. As I said, stay tuned for the next mod showcase, where we will see the secret dinosaurs I mentioned earlier. So subscribe for that, and until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.